I think it's a rather recent phenomenon that in the media experts have so much uh, time and authority to talk about the matters of the day. The more experts you have, the less influential uh, the individual expert is. That's, that's very clear, of course. And the more divided experts, expert opinions are, uh, the less authoritative they are. Uh, that's uh, a truism as well. And that's a very old story, in fact. If you would want to be cynical about the current expert culture in the media, you could say that uh, many experts have no special knowledge at all, but they just rely on other experts, which which is kind of problematic. Public polling is a very interesting phenomenon in terms of expert cultures. I would say that in the US nowadays, contrary to Switzerland, where you still have Claude Longchamp as a major figure, figure uh, who represents public polling uh, as an official expert, in the US there are nowadays no famous experts anymore who really represent the science of public polling. You don't need translators anymore who explain the results of polls. The ideology of pollsters, they would uh, argue that polls are only here for measuring uh, public opinions, not for shaping them. But I think there's uh, much indirect evidence that it's actually shaping uh, opinion as well. And you can see it, for instance, how candidates react to negative uh, poll results. When, after the first debate, the first uh, poll came out who showed Romney in the lead, the Obama campaign instantly reacted, saying that it was an anomaly. You don't have to say this if you don't think that polls actually have an impact on the race. So that's a clear sign that the Obama camp thinks that polls have an impact on the race, that they don't just measure, but influence. A very big factor in polling in America is how ethnic minorities behave. So there are polls about opinions of African Americans, Latino Americans, white Americans, etc. etc. And, and many results, first of all, uh, about African Americans show that they are not so interested in politics, that if they vote, they vote for Democrats. So there was one poll saying that uh, Romney had zero supporters among uh, among African Americans and such polls can actually comp contribute to uh, racist racist attitudes because you you observe an ethnic minor minority as an, uh, as an entity as a compact group which it, which it never is and you distill uh, a dominant opinion among that group and that can actually help to uh, reinforce uh, racist attitudes and if you, if you think about how Romney would react to a poll telling him uh, that blacks didn't care about him at all, he can just neglect them completely. The political advisers uh, on foreign policy for Romney now, at this moment, have only a legitimizing function, but not an advisory role. Romney had to prove that he was surrounded uh, by good advisers. And he chose 24 on the whole, a huge number, on October 6 which is just one month before the election, exactly one month uh, before. And uh, the interesting thing about these 24 advisors is that only about half a dozen actually have tenured position at universities. All others belong to think tanks, uh, are former practitioners or politicians themselves. So it's not a, a, a team of academics. And uh, I think you cannot say that these are really people giving him advice now for the campaign, but they are all only here uh, to present him as a qualified, qualified candidate. It's a window dressing exercise. And uh, in the long run, I mean, if, if, if that is uh, clearly seen by the media, I, I think it isn't, uh, uh, then that could really contribute to uh, a loss of credibility uh, of political advisors, because they must know that they are playing a game here.